Welcome to Financial Tidbits in 2 Minutes. I am Barbara Boaji, a civil engineer by day and a financial tidbit by night. Our besides financial presentation focuses on how to get and stay financially organized and plan for our future. We, yes we, you and I will be focused on learning, relearning, on learning and understanding smart money choices. For today's session, we are looking at dealing with paperwork both digital and printed. Quick, where's your birth certificate and passport? Voters ID card and driver's license? Rental agreement and graduation certificates? What of the contract document of the investment you made last year? Some of you may have these documents readily available in a centralized location. Others may have these documents but scattered all over the place. But for many of you, you have no idea what or where these important documents are. In our journey to financial freedom, the first most important step is managing your paperwork. Most of us tend to forget this stage and tend to jump to budgeting, investment, and other financial tools. So what does paperwork entail? Here's a quick outline to help you get started. Invest in your time now to establish or update your paperwork will save you time, money, simplify your record keeping, and most importantly, improve your personal financial management from the way forward. Firstly, create one to-do list to serve as a reminder for important tasks to be done and also to prevent important ones from slipping through the crack. Gather and centralize all your money-related documents in a financial organizer. This could be a binder, a pouch, or a portfolio. It's also a good idea to make digital copies of these documents. Quick question as we end. If something should happen to you right now, does anyone know where your money documents are? Think about this. Check out our website, cfleafrica.org to get in touch, to support, volunteer, partner or to sponsor our programs and courses.